Do you know who holds the record of the youngest ever player to become the ATP world number one in the history of tennis? You guessed it, Leighton Hewitt. Hewitt's passion, commitment, and determination are particularly noteworthy. Having earned more than 30 titles in his nearly 20-year-long professional career, he's indeed presented himself as an inspiring figure. But if you're wondering how this tennis legend played with such zeal and passion throughout his prolific career, you might want to know that the Hewitts have been in the game of sports for decades. Glenn Hewitt Hewitt's father, Glenn, was a former Australian rules footballer. He was a fine key position forward who was very dangerous around the goals. At the age of 17, he debuted for West Adelaide Football Club. As they say, history repeats itself, this was around the time Hewitt took the tennis stage. Glenn's career, nevertheless, did not take off as gloriously. Some say that's probably because he never played for any big club. The tall forward represented South Australia four times during his career. He spent two seasons with Richmond, but found it hard to establish himself regularly due to the abundance of talent at the club. He was a member of the Reserve's 1973 Premiership side. His highest individual goal tally was five against Fitzroy in round 13, 1974. He then kicked four the following week against Melbourne. On his return to South Australia, he played some games at Full Ford. In 1979, he won the competition goal kicking award with 83 goals whilst playing with Woodville. And if you think the history of the Hewitts goes on as far as Glenn, you might be surprised to know that his father, Max, a.k.a. Lynn Hewitt's grandfather, also played Australian football with 129 games for Wes Adelaide under his belt. And his brother, Daryl, a.k.a. Hewitt's uncle, also played the sport professionally. Now, Glenn's a life member of the West Adelaide Football Club. He lives in Adelaide with his lifelong partner, Sherilyn Hewitt. With such a love for sports running in the family, Hewitt naturally developed the physique and mentality of a sportsman, but he did not always want to become a tennis player. As a matter of fact, early on, Leighton Hewitt wanted to follow in the footsteps of all the other men in the family and play Australian rules football. He preferred team sports, which he thought were more fun and engaging. Imagine a world of tennis without the fiery come-ons of Hewitt. Had it not been for Coach Peter Smith, who spotted something special in the boy, the tennis world might have never seen the resilient and charismatic figure of the Aussie legend. From the age of six, Hewitt took guidance from the South Australian coach, Peter Smith. Every Sunday morning, he went along with his younger sister, Jaslyn, and learned the basics of the game with the coach. But why did one sibling's career take off and the other one hardly made it to the ATP circuit? Jaslyn was born on the 23rd of February 1983. Like Hewitt, she too aspired to become a professional tennis player and she was well on her way to doing so. She was halfway through year 11 in school when she started touring for Tennis Australia, but early on in her career, she broke her hand. She tried to make a comeback after a hand surgery, but sadly the pain caused by the vibration of the racket never went away. She had no other option but to retire from the game. And Jaslyn, nevertheless, was resilient like the rest of Hewitt's, and she never let it hamper her growth as an individual. Soon after she stopped playing tennis, she studied remedial massage. She also studied personal training. She is now a tennis coach, helping the future generation of players reach their goals. But that's not all. In 2010, Jaslyn got engaged to actor-comedian Rob Shihadi, but it was reported that none of the Hewitt's were present at their wedding. It was only after Jaslyn had her second son that the family finally reunited and let bygones be bygones. Okay, so we know Jaslyn married Rob, but who did Hewitt marry? For those of you who are diehard fans of Hewitt, you might know that Hewitt married Beck Hewitt in 2005. But did you know how the couple actually met? Born on the 23rd of July, 1983, Beck Hewitt, formerly known as Beck Cartwright, started her acting career at the age of five. She won her breakout role and best-known role to date 1998, portraying Haley Smith Lawson on a show called Home and Away. Exactly one year later, she met Hewitt at the Starlight Cup. Hewitt, who was still 18 at that time, and Beck, who was 16, not feel the fireworks straight away, though. 
But with Hewitt's charismatic personality, Beck always saw something special in the man, and after each tournament that Hewitt won, Beck sent him a congratulatory message. Okay, so here's the interesting part. Hewitt once played a little role in one of the episodes of the show, Home and Away. Yeah, you got that right. Leighton Hewitt acted on screen. In the show, Hewitt was playing himself, and when he turned up to the scene at dinner, he acted like he was talking to Beck and not Haley, the character she's playing, which Beck thought made it a bit awkward. But hey, at least the Aussie ace remembered his lines correct. In 2005, the charming couple tied the knot at the Sydney Opera House and enjoyed a lavish wedding reception at Taronga Zoo. The Aussie power couple has a happy family with three beautiful children, Mia, Cruz, and Ava, respectively. Born in 2008, Cruz following in the footsteps of his father by pursuing a career in tennis. He already has had a matchup with the greatest in the game, Roger Federer. Well, okay, not exactly. But during an exhibition match, Cruz took to the court and got the Swiss International warmed up. Fun and humor aside, he has won the under-12s Australian Clay Court Championship in 2021, and his father believes he will be playing in the Australian Open by the time he's 14. He might not be wrong because the little prodigy cruised in his opening round match at the Orange Bowl Cup, an under-14 junior tournament which has springboarded many future champions, such as the likes of Roger Federer, Andy Roddick, and Boris Becker, among others. While Cruz has discovered a strong passion for tennis like his father, Mia is more into fashion and media like her mother. Who exactly is Mia? Born on November 29, 2005, Mia is a high school student. She also happens to be a great illustrator and designer. She is slaying the retail game, working at a Christian Duar boutique in Sydney. She's made coats with lining and pockets, all sorts of things. She plans to pave her own path in life. She aspires to break into modeling. Her immediate plan is to move to either Paris or New York and make a name for herself. She's accompanied her famous mom to Paris Fashion Week to attend several runway shows together, including the coveted Duar show. Ava, who's the youngest in the lot, is not far behind her sibling. She's passionate about dancing and gymnastics, among other activities. And she was also the Barbie brand ambassador in 2016, featuring alongside her mother. She made her debut on the set of Dancing with the Stars in April. The young dance prodigy delivered a contemporary performance for the studio audience, but it wasn't aired on TV. With all his children paving their own paths in life, Hewitt only wishes to support them along their way. He's often seen coaching his son on the tennis court, preparing him to become the next Aussie sensation. Will Cruz flourish under the guidance of his legendary father and take the tennis world by storm in the coming years?